Are you thinking about moving to Fayetteville, North Carolina? But with so many suburbs and neighborhoods, where do you start? Stick around while I count down the seven best places to live. Hey everyone, I'm James, your local real estate expert here in Fayetteville. Whether you are buying, selling, or investing, or just want to know more about the area, I'm your go-to guy. Today I'm going to give you my best neighborhood suburbs, so let's get started. So the first place I talk about is going to be Gates 4. Now Gates 4 is a gated community and it's located on the west side of Fayetteville. Now Gates 4 has just over a thousand acres of property, 750 homes, and with about 300 lots that are to be developed into new homes. Now Gates 4 golf course has 18 holes, and not only do they have golf in there, they've got a clubhouse, they've got swimming pools, tennis, a lake, you name it, this place has it. Now Gates 4 is located right off Lakewood Drive and is in the Jack Britt High School District. Another great thing about Gates 4 is even though it's a gated community, you're pretty close to much everything. We've got a Harris Teeter down the street, maybe half a mile away. They're building a Publix, which should be completed in the next year or two, depending on when you see this video. And another great thing is you're close to Hope Mills. So you may be, I'd say five to seven minute drive to Hope Mills. You're probably closer to Hope Mills than you are to some amenities in Fayetteville. Like for instance, you got the movie theater, Hope Mills. You can go to, they got restaurants, bars. They've got some um, great, um, Places that take the kids uh, putt putt golf. You've got a trampoline surge place. You've also got a uh, walking track around Hope Mills and the Parker Rec Center right there. So you're probably closer to, to fun things in Hope Mills than you are to Fayetteville. You can also, there's a Walmart in Hope, Hope Mills, Lowe's. So definitely you are closer to those things than you are to things in Fayetteville. And if you're commuting to Fort Liberty, Fort Bragg, you're probably looking at about a good 20, 25 minute drive. Of course, you gotta go depending on where you live in the community. With 750 homes, that's a lot. So if you live farther, farther back in the community, it's gonna take a little longer to get out of the neighborhood. Now the homes in Gates 4 range from about 300,000 to 700,000. So definitely you don't have to have a high priced home or anything like that to live in Gates 4. Next area I talk about is going to be downtown or the Haymount District. Now, most of these homes in the Haymount District are going to be older homes. Some of them may be even historic homes built in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. That's the oldest I've seen them. Now, they're not saying there aren't some older ones back there, but it also have new developments in Haymount District also. Now the Haymount District, um, downtown Haymount District, is kind of mixed up. A lot of people are thinking some neighborhoods are considered Haymount, some are not. For instance, like Van Story. I don't consider it part of Haymount, but it definitely is close to Haymount. But who am I to make that decision? Now, Haymount is in the Terry Sanford High School District and the homes range there from about 220,000 to up to 900,000. So another big range of homes. And some of these homes are older, like I said earlier. So they're, there's not much, what I've seen in Haymount, not much, a lot of yard space. So if you're looking for a lot of yard, Haymount might be the area for you. If you don't mind a small front yard, small backyard, and it doesn't bother you, then hey, definitely, you know, check it out. And we're definitely, in Haymount, you're definitely close to a lot of parks. We've got Honeycutt Park, Masaryk Park, Fayetteville Tech Community College. So you're not far away from our community college, close to downtown, like I mentioned earlier. Some places in Haymount are in walking distance of downtown also. It depends on where you decide to live there. If you're just living in Haymount, you're basically almost in the heart of Fayetteville. You're five to seven minutes away from the movie theater, restaurants, like Fisher and Church Road, the mall. If you need to jump on um, All America Freeway, kids, you're right to the base. You may be looking at about a 10, 12 minute drive to the base from All America. And just all the amenities of downtown. You've got, um, if you want to catch a baseball game. They're also building a large art um, complex or art performance center right between the old courthouse and the new house. New courthouse at the time of this video may or be up, depends, but they are building that. You got the special Oz Museum and just downtown in general is just a great vibe. It's not a huge downtown area, but I think it's pretty nice and I like it there. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> Next place I talk about is going to be Stedman. Now Stedman is a small little town. It's maybe about 15 minutes east of Fayetteville. You're probably looking at about a good uh, 15 minute drive 
to Fayetteville, to the downtown area of Fayetteville. Now, the population segment is really tiny. Like I said, it's a small little town. You're probably looking at about 1,200 people living in Stedman. Now, a lot of people like living out there because it's so rural. They have a grocery store there, and I think they have one drugstore, post office place. Uh, but people love living out there. If you want to live in a rural area, but not be too far from, from Fayetteville, Stedman may be a good place for you. Now, homes range out there in Stedman area from about 200000 200, to about 350000 and they are building some newer homes out there, not in Stedman, the town, but very close by. Now, if you are looking to commute to the base, you're probably looking about a good 30 minute drive from Stedman. Depends on where you take, but you're probably looking 25, 30 minute drive. That's an issue for you. You may want to think about living out in Stedman, but if you want that, you know, country life and where it's all quiet out there, Stedman is going to definitely be the place for you. Another reason people like living in Stedman is for the high school. The high school is going to be Cape Fear Valley High School, and it's one of the most desired schools in the area. Definitely, if you want more information about any of these schools that I've mentioned, definitely click the link below right here, and it'll tell you more information. As a real estate agent, I cannot give you my personal opinion. All I can tell you is data. I can tell you what other people said, and it's one of the most desired school areas. But definitely check out the report card by the state of North Carolina. It talks about all the schools in North Carolina, not only just Cumberland County. So before I get into the next four areas, definitely want to remind you that I am a real estate agent. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in the fabled surrounding areas, please reach out to the team and me. We'd love to help you. All my information is below. And to make it even easier for you, you can click this QR code right up here in the corner and set up a Zoom call with me. Love to talk to you, see how we can help you. So the next place I'll talk about is going to be Gray's Creek. Now, Gray's Creek is kind of unique. It's part of Hope Mills. That sounds confusing. And it's also part of Fayetteville. And it's more, I call it more the rural area of Hope Mills. And one in particular neighborhood I'm going to talk about in Gray's Creek is going to be Cypress Lakes. Cypress Lake is a very large neighborhood and it's right next to Gray's Creek High School and Gray's Creek Middle. It's actually in the neighborhood. Typically you don't find a lot of these days, at least in not in the fabled surrounding areas. So definitely if your kids are going to the middle school or high school, it's only within the walking distance, which is not too bad. Another great thing about living in Cypress Lakes is Cypress Lakes Golf Course. 18 hole golf course and I think you're maybe three or four miles away from it. Now, I am not a golfer, but they're bragging a lot about their Bermuda grass. So definitely, if you are a golfer and that means something to you, definitely check it out. Like I said, I'm not much of a golfer. I'm a lefty, so I'd have to buy golf clubs fit for a left-handed person. Now, the homes in Cypress Lakes range from about 250000 up to $400,000. And most of these homes that are out here in Cypress Lakes are newer homes. I'd say built around 2000 to um you know, up to up to now. Now living in Cypress Lake subdivision, you're only about five, seven minutes drive from Hope Mills. Now it's still Hope Mills, but more of the heart of Hope Mills is what I'm talking about. And that's more like Main Street, near the Walmart Lowe's, movie theaters and things like that. So you're not too far away. You're also close to I-95. So if you want to head north, head to New York area or DC area, you want to head south down to Florida, not a problem. Also we're close to 87, which takes you right to the beach you're probably about an hour and a half away from the beaches living in Grace Creek area. Uh, the commute to the base is probably going to be a long one. You're probably looking at about a 30, maybe 35 minute drive to base. Definitely map it out before you start looking out in the Grace Creek area if that's an area you desire. Would you commute or... Next neighborhood I talk about is going to be Fairfield Farms, which is on Ramsey Street on the north side of Fayetteville. And I'm absolutely in love with these homes in, in Fairfield Farms. If I could live there, I definitely would. Uh, the price ranges from about 350,000 up to 800,000. All brick homes, I, big yards. I love this neighborhood. I drove through it all the time as a cop. Well, as much as I could just to check out the neighborhood. Um, and just imagine living there. I liked it that much. That's just me, of course. My own opinion. One good thing about Fairfield Farms is you're on the north end of Ramsey. You're near 295, so it's a pretty, e pretty easy shot right to base. I would think maybe 20 minute drive, which you're right next to 295. Jump on 295, straight shot right to base. Another thing I love about it, it's close to Methodist College. So definitely if you are wanting to attend college, you got kids do, 
or whatever, not too far away. The high school there is Pine Forest High School, which is one of the better ranking high schools in the Fayetteville area, definitely, like I said earlier. Check out um, ncreportcards.com. That information will be in the description below if you want to check that report card for all the schools in North Carolina. The other great thing is you're next to the Cape Fear River Trail, which is definitely a great place to, you know, walk, bike, run, anything like that you want to do. It's four miles one way, so be careful that it's one way. So definitely head out there. Don't think it's a loop. It is one way. A lot of people get lost out there thinking someone stole their car when they walked uh, the four miles. Another the great thing about Fairfield Farms is you're not in this, you're in the city limits, but you're more of the last neighborhood in the city limits. You're just past 295 where it's not as busy because Rain Street does get busy, um, you know, being a north end. You are far away from some amenities. There are some a few restaurants out there. But if you're looking to head in to catch a movie or something like that, you're probably looking at about a good 12, 15 minute drive to the movie theater. If you're looking for um, like places like, you know, Olive Garden, Red Lobster, Outback, you're, you're probably looking about a good 15 minute drive to, to restaurants like that. They do have a few on Rain Street, but not a lot. Next place I talk about is going to be Eastover. Now, Eastover is a community slash town is the best way I can explain it. Um, Eastover, it has its little areas where there's are some businesses right there. Then it kind of gets a very rural. So Eastover is close to Stedman. I kind of thought they, they're they interchangeable, but they are a good 10 to 12 minutes away from each other. But I think they're all one and same. I, I, me personally, I consider all one big area. But Eastover is on the east side of Fayetteville and the high school there is Cape Fear High School, just like Stedman. Now the size of Eastover is just a little bit bigger than Stedman, which is kind of strange because Stedman has its own little town, just a population of just over 3,500 people. And just like Stedman, if you're looking for their rural country life, East Over is the place for you. You're maybe 12, 15 minutes away from downtown Fayetteville. Um, you can definitely jump on 295, head right to the base if you're looking to commute to the base. That's probably about a 20 minute drive. And the homes in East Over kind of range from about 200,000 up to about four to 500,000. Good sized town, just very rural. You're not gonna find a lot out there. Some, you know, you'll find some grocery stores, one or two, but a lot of things out there. You may have to head to Stedman to go to Carly C's to get a grocery store or into, into Fayetteville. Really depends on you um, when you're living out there. There's not much to do in Eastover, as I just said earlier, so definitely if you're looking for a slower pace of life, Eastover is the place for you. And the number one place is going to be Rayford. Now, Rayford is not in Cumberland County. It's actually in Hope County. You can see on the map here, but it's a very close to Fayetteville. You're what are you talking about, Willis? All we had to do was hit Cumming County, Hope County, and we're right there. Now, Rayford, we got Rayford, the town, which is very small. I think it's one square mile. Oh, Rayford is very rural. Uh, Rayford's probably the biggest city in Hope County. You got Rockfish and some other places I don't even know, but I just call all of Hope County Rayford. That's probably wrong. I know it's wrong, but oh well. Um, I lived here long enough. I think I can do that and not be, get up, not get into much, uh, not too much. Um, hot water. Anyway, living in the town of Rayford, there's not much there. Older homes are there, but they are developing homes in Rayford like crazy. Every time I turn around, they're building a new subdivision. I was just out there with uh, Dreamfinder Homes, uh, one of the construction crew out here, Ben Stout out here, and they were building homes out there in the Rayford area. Definitely it's growing, and every time I turn around, they keep building more and more homes out there. So definitely, if you're looking for new construction, Rayford may be the place for you. Now, the town of Rayford has about 4,500 people, and Hope County has about 52,000 people. Now, Rayford, the town is definitely a small little quiet community. They've got a uh, courthouse there, things like that. Nothing big and major, mostly older things, like I said. But definitely, if you're looking for homes in the county limits, which is probably a little cheaper, Definitely look outside um, outside Rayford in the rural areas. There's not a lot to do in Rayford, but they do have a couple of things. They've got an indoor skydiving place. Definitely check that out. It's been there for about 20 years, but um, it's it's one of the, I've never been there myself, but definitely a lot of people love going out there and you can see what our 82nd Airborne military does when they're jumping out of airplanes, definitely check it out if you're into that. And if you want to upgrade to real skydiving, they also have real skydiving out there also. 
but definitely check out their indoor scouting place. And another thing they just built, maybe bought just over a year ago, is the James A. Leach Aquatic and Rec Center. And definitely check it out. You can swim there. You can play basketball there. They've got a playground for the kids. If you are wanting to um, walk or run, they got a walk and run track inside too. Pretty awesome that they built that out there. And I only see Rayford growing, growing, growing. Like I said earlier, they keep, every time I'm trying, they keep building something out there. If you're looking to commute to the base, you're probably looking about a 25, 30 minute drive, maybe. But 295, as soon as you hit Fayetteville, 295 is right there. Hit your, take your right to the base. So there's a longer drive maybe, but you're looking at traveling on 295, which isn't too bad uh, with four lanes, you know, two lanes going each way. It's not too bad. If you're looking to buy a house out there, uh, they're ranging from about, uh, I'd say medium price range about 200,000 up to 400,000, especially with these new neighborhoods that they're building out there. New construction be the way they go. At the time of this video, anyone you see it, they're offering up to, some of these places are offering up to $30,000 in closing costs on these brand new homes. So definitely, if you're interested in something like that, reach out to us, be happy to get you in touch with them, show you some homes. Now, you are far away from some amenities of, you know, that city, living that city life. So you're probably looking about a 20 minute drive into Fayetteville, restaurants, movie theaters, the mall, you know, going to Best Buy or Target or something like that. So if you want to live out in Rayford, you know, it's definitely that rural, slow country life compared to not saying Fayetteville is a jamming city because it definitely is not but if you're looking to um, be close to the Fayetteville Rayford may not be the area for you and the high school at Rayford is Hoke High and from what I understanding they are building another high school out there should be completed in the next hopefully three to four years um, I don't think I even heard the name of the high school these are all rumors though of course so don't hold me to it but I keep hearing this a lot and I'll definitely find out more for you guys if you'd like to know more information about that so if you're thinking I'm moving out to the amazing suburbs neighborhoods definitely don't hesitate and reach out to the team and me we'd love to help you find a place called home all my information is below and you can reach out to me directly or if you want click this link right here put in your corner and set up a zoom call with me and definitely check out these other videos i have on my channel and definitely check out this one right here that youtube recommends to you and i'll see you guys in the next video